Can you tell us how Beam and uh, Grin actually differ from each other? The fundamental difference here, I think, is that, that Grin is, is, has adopted a community approach to, to, to a lot of things. So, for instance, like the bulletin board that you just talked about is basically, it's, it's a way of dealing with the, the interaction problem that we were talking about earlier. Um, how, do you, how do people interact? How does it work if someone's not available? How do you send funds to somebody without, without them being around or online to perform the transaction? And, and I mean, Grin have, or Beam it rather, has a, what I'd maybe say, prescriptive approach to this, right? You built a bulletin board and, and you do your transaction here and this is a solution. Grin's approach is to leave that up to the community and other authors. So, for instance, for the, that particular problem, our approach is to provide a very decent set of wallet tools to do the fundamentals of building transactions and putting wallets together, and then let the community come up with different ways of handling solutions to these problems according to different needs. You know, some people might might only want to meet in dark alleys with bits of paper, and, and that's how they want to do their transactions, and that's fine. We can support that. Other people might want to come along and build um, some solutions on top of that. Like there's a um, there's a there's an open source project called uh, Wallet Seven Thirteen that has another solution built on top of that. Uh, each time you you add a solution like this on top of, of Mimblewimble, you're also adding you know you're you're actually lessening the security and confidentiality a bit as well. So that has to be taken into consideration. So I, I think like our fundamental approach is community. We're we're, we're trusting the community to take Grin as the core layer and then build build custom solutions or whatever suits various groups on top of that.